MTB Hopper is a scam. Charging $417 for a piece of CNC cut plywood, it's even beyond me. So these corporate orangutans, they got together and they were like, Ooga Booga, sponsor British guy with three teeth, we make money. So I planned this out, like the perfect ramp design. Um, 30 minutes with a piece of uh, paper, that, that's, that's besides the point. Today, I took a trip to the Home DP. And, uh, you, you fellas know where the wood is? And, with sales tax, $71.50. Now, this is utterly ridiculous garbage, because if I did this a year ago, it would cost me $40. Now, around this point in the video, I should probably tell you that this isn't going to be a tutorial, and that's just because it work well, no. But what you can take this video as is as a learning experience if you want to do this yourself. You could do it not how I did it. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get started. Get a piece of wood. Cut the piece of wood to smaller pieces. Wow, that's a lot of pieces. Next, get hinges. Use monkey brain to install hinges onto pieces of wood. Hopefully you were smart enough to get two by fours at Home Depot. If you were, then do a little bit of cutting, a little bit of drilling, and then you've got your arches. Next are the latches. Now they're quite important as they greatly contribute to the portability of the ramp. Basically, you're done with the whole thing. You just gotta do a little bit more cutting, drilling, and a little bit of other stuff, and you're done. Now. You might be thinking to yourself, wow, what a nice looking and portable ramp that is. And you wouldn't be wrong. But the one teeny tiny problem is, is that it doesn't work. Now, I did test this ramp, I hit it a couple times. But then I took it over to my friends and on the second jump, it just disintegrated. Now. It's important to note that this wasn't a complete catastrophic failure. This malfunction, if you could call it, was due to two major design flaws that I should have fixed in the first place. Now, I won't get into these design flaws in this video, but if you guys are looking for a part two, I'll gladly try rebuilding it with those new improvements, which should basically make it indestructible. All joking aside, we are going to get back to a regular posting schedule from now on. So stay tuned, I don't know, watch some other videos, I should probably say something about a graph, or we only have 200 subscribers, so who the hell am I kidding? I'll see you guys next time.